Hello, friends. Welcome to the Mongolian Adventures podcast, a place for stories about Mongolia for adventurous kids. Get comfortable, snuggle in, and let's begin. Let's begin. The speed of the micro bus took Minjin's breath away. The glimpses of the city that she caught in between the tires overwhelmed her. All of the towering skyscrapers, all of the humans, the many, many cars and buses and trucks. The other mice on the mouse transport were quiet, also watching the blur of UB pass them by. At each bus stop, a few more mice boarded the bus or got off, gathering their bags and coats as they stepped down the stairs and scurried off to wherever they were headed. Minjin repeated the name of her stop in her head over and over again so she wouldn't forget it. Ganden, Ganden, Ganden. Finally, the bus pulled to a stop. The driver shouted, Ganden! And Minjin jumped up and off as fast as she could. Whoosh! The bus flew off, and Minjin was faced with a perplexing dilemma. Where should she go now? Mandulf had told her a mouse guide would meet her at the entrance to Ganden, but she looked around and she didn't see an entrance. What she saw was a long road leading upward, where she could just barely see what looked like a door. At least, that's where all the humans were headed. Minjin's stomach turned in wiggly circles. This was hard. She wanted to see new things and meet new people, but she was scared and so far from her mom and their cozy shoebox. Minjin remembered what her mom always said when she was nervous. Being brave isn't about not being scared. Being brave is trying new things even though you are scared. She took a deep breath. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's do this, she thought as she started up the street. There were other mice as she passed, and she felt better as she realized there were others headed the same way. She wasn't alone. She may be ten, but she wasn't ready to be by herself in the city with a crowd of humans. The road inclined up and up until she reached the top and a big, beautiful red door. The entrance's roof was green, and there were swirls and beautiful markings painted over the different parts. Yellow, blue, green. Minjin had never seen such a gorgeous door. This must be a majorly special place to have such a door. As she paused to take in the beauty, she suddenly found herself surrounded by gray feathers. Ah! she squeaked, trying to find a way to scurry out. But there was no way out. State your name, please, said a gruff-sounding voice. Minjin cautiously looked up to see a very serious-looking pigeon. My name is Minjin, she said slowly, looking around the circle and taking in the six pigeons forming a wall around her. Who, who are you? We are the Gondon Monastery Pigeon Brigade Platoon 409, pack number 2052, and I am Soldier Captain 1400 Pilladoodle, ma'am, said the biggest pigeon as he dipped his head to her with a little bow. I'm sorry, you're who? We are the Gondon Monastery Pigeon Brigade Platoon 409, pack number 2052, he said, puffing himself up, and I am Soldier Captain 1400 Pilladoodle. Minjin tried not to giggle as she looked at these very serious pigeons, with a very silly name. A uh, Mr. Pilladoodle? Am I in trouble? No, no trouble, my lady. It is our job to inspect and investigate every new animal who enters here. What is your business? I'm here to meet a Miss Marl. She's going to show me some possible homes and give me a tour. right said Pilladoodle. He gave a short squawk and did a fancy little shimmy shake dance move. Into formation, Pigeon Brigade, Platoon 409, pack number 2052. All the pigeons did the same squawk, shimmy shake, and stepped into a line. Minjin, you may now enter the Gondon Monastery. Smiling, she said goodbye to the very serious and also very silly pigeon soldiers and scurried into the courtyard looking for her mouse guide. There were pigeons everywhere, she guessed all stopping new visitors for questioning, but she didn't see a mouse guide. Are you Minjin? a voice asked, and she turned around to find a very small, beautiful gray mouse. Yes, I am, she replied, looking at her new guide. She was wearing a deep red fabric draped over her body. Are you the guide? Minjin asked. She had never seen a mouse like this before. 
Yes, I'm Model. Welcome to Ganden. I will show you around today and we can talk about if this is the place where you would like to live. Minjin nodded thoughtfully, remembering that she was supposed to be looking for her home, not just seeing new things. Model smiled and motioned her forward. Ganden is a special place. It is a place for prayer, learning, and reflection. It is a monastery, which means it's a place where monks live and study. They passed by small and big buildings as Model talked, and Minjin saw all sorts of beautiful statues and shapes around the courtyard. People walked around quietly, some in ordinary clothes and some dressed in the same deep red robes that Model wore. What are monks, exactly? Minjin asked shyly. You shouldn't be embarrassed, Model said. Questions are important. They're how we learn. Asking good questions is the same most important thing you can do. Monks are people who study Buddhism and help others learn about it too. They pray and study and teach and read and help our community. They paused at a long row of gold spinning cylinders. Standing quietly next to Model, Minjin watched as the humans pushed the wheels so they would spin in the sunlight. She took a breath and felt the quiet bring her peace. The tour continued. The monastery was large, although not as big or as busy as Nadantol. But there were many different beautiful buildings and rooms, filled with colors, paintings, and pictures that Minjin had never seen before. In one room there were many, many monks sitting, some talking to other humans, others reading from books, and others chanting, words that sounded like a song. Wow, said Minjin, if I lived here I could hear those beautiful songs every day. Yes, said Madeld, you would. Now show, follow me. I have something truly amazing to show you. They stood in a line by a small door. This was the mouse entrance, of course, as the bigger human entrance was next to them. The humans were taking their shoes off, and so were the mice. Minjin took her shoes off, and then they entered through a tiny door in the wall. It was so small the humans wouldn't notice it unless they looked very, very closely. Minjin looked up and couldn't breathe. In front of her was the largest, shiniest statue she had ever seen. This is Avalokiteshvara, explained Madal. This statue is 26.5 meters tall and was rebuilt in 1996. Rebuilt? Minjin asked. Yes, there was another statue before, but that one was destroyed. This one was made again. Minjin stood and looked at the beautiful gold statue before her and the colors and sounds surrounding her. This would be a very interesting and beautiful place to live. She could learn and study and pray and hear those wonderful songs every day. A word that Madal had said before came back to her. Madal, before you said that Gandan is a community, what does that mean exactly? Minjin asked. A good question, said Madal, smiling encouragingly. A community is something like a neighborhood, except you don't have to live next to each other. It's people and animals who choose to live together, to work together, and to help each other. We need community to live, and this is one of the places where people have found it. Does your heart also find community here? Minjin paused. She wanted community, to be with others and to not be alone. But her heart was also telling her that there was so much more to see and to understand. She couldn't choose to stop exploring already. Her community was still out there waiting for her to find it. This is one of the most beautiful places I have ever seen, Minjin said. But my heart is telling me that I need to keep looking for my community and for my home. I understand, said Madal, and I wish you all the best as you keep going on your journey. For now, I will take you to one of our guest houses, and you can rest there tonight. In the morning, you can head out. If you ever find yourself here again, please say hello. This community will always be open to you. I will, said Minjin. Thank you for sharing your home and your community with me. She went to the guest rooms. Her heart felt glad to have visited Ganden, but even more glad to have more places to go to next. She smiled to herself and watched the pink fill the sky from the window. The world was a beautiful place. 
Thank you for joining us on this episode of the Mongolian Adventures podcast. You can find more information about the podcast as well as lesson plans for educators at www.mongolianadventurespodcast.com. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Mongolian Adventures Podcast. And on Twitter, we're at Mongolian ADV Pod. We'd love for you to draw a picture or create artwork based off of today's story. Send us your pictures at mongolian.adventures.podcast at gmail.com and maybe you'll see it featured on our social media. Until next time! May your adventures be big and your dreams even bigger.